Again, hearing you say this, Sanjay, the listeners are going to be thinking, what? Yes. Because <laughs> we're all so brainwashed into believing that radiation is horrible. I don't think we can have this discussion without giving people some understanding of what radiation is. Essentially, the bottom line is that the low energy stuff that is non-ionizing cannot damage tissue. Fallacies about your cell phone giving you brain cancer and all are just that. They're, they're fallacies. So first off, which patients are typically being radiated? It comes down to two things. You want, you want to be cured. Cure rate is key. But quality of life is equally important, if not more important, for most people. And so now that cure rates with our modern focused radiation allow it to get such a high dose into the prostate, uh, we can say that they're essentially equivalent to surgery. Let's use that as a bridge to talking about using radiation to enhance tissue. You usually see, depending on the joint, somewhere between a 60 and 80% success rate where the pain is, if not zero, at least markedly decreased. I don't think patients will have any patience for turf wars. Yes, right? that's true. And so if I'm a patient, every doctor needs to be a fiduciary. Mm -hmm. They need to put my interest ahead right. of their interest. It's highly underutilized at this point, and the Europeans have shown us the way. It clearly works, and America just has to catch up. Yeah, this is definitely an area where we are way far behind.